Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you the process of me making a tap handle and kind of go into a little bit of a backstory about why I make so many of these things. So I start off by marking the highest point and then the very top and then the very bottom. I do this with a parting tool and a set of calipers that are set to two inches for the top and around an inch and an eighth for the bottom. So far to date, I've made 1,300 of these tap handles. They're for one of my favorite breweries called Refuge Brewery, and you can find them in about 650 different restaurants throughout Southern California. So if you're ever in the area, keep an eye out for them. Here I'm using a round nose scraper to start finding the curve of the tap handles. Um, I've made so many of these things that I don't really use templates anymore to find this curve. It's something that I've just gotten good at after about a thousand. This video is in real time speed so you're seeing this at in the speed that it takes me to actually turn one of these things. I can get into a groove and turn one in about three minutes or so. Here I'm just getting the curve you know to be like a nice even curve and up in the top right corner you can see that I'm starting to cut off the top of the tap handles at a 45 degree angle and then I rip off the bottom. Then I take it over to the sander and I sand that 45 degree angle that I just cut with 120 grit sandpaper and then I sand the bottom to get that nice and flush. I take it over to the drill press and I drill a hole for an aluminum base that will get epoxied in later. Now on the main screen, I use a sanding block that has 100 grit sandpaper on one side, and then I flip it over and it has 150 grit sandpaper on the other side. Then I shut the lathe off and use an orbital sander that has 220 grit sandpaper on there. So when they come off the lathe, they are finished sanded. After this, I'll take just a regular piece of sandpaper and knock down all of the edges and boom there it is now they're ready for a few coats of finish i put three to four coats on and then they are all done all right everybody thanks for watching bye